My name is Will Willis, and I am a television host, college student, personal trainer, former Army Ranger and Air Force Pararescueman, and tactical emergency trauma specialist. The untold truth of Forged and Firestar, Will Willis. Will Willis is an American TV personality, pararescueman, and former Army Ranger, born on the 13th of February, 1975, in Portugal. He's best known for being the host of the TV series, Forged in Fire. Born the son of Jacob Willis and Mary Vasiligi Meliarki, Will and his four siblings spent periods of time in a variety of armed forces bases due to his father's military profession. The family moved to Texas when Will was two years old, moved again to Florida when he was six, and then to California when he was eight. Will's father Jacob retired from the Army in 1991. His mother Mary was Greek. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. There's no information about Will's early education and teen years, except at a young age he expressed his desire to become a soldier and give continuity to his family's military tradition. For this reason, Will enlisted in the Army after matriculating from high school in 1993. Once he completed Basic Individual Training BIT, Basic Airborne Course BAC, and Ranger Indoctrination Program RIP, Will Willis was assigned to the 3rd Ranger Regiment Battalion in October 1993. He served in the Army for five years until 1998, when he joined the U.S. Air Force after passing the pararescue pipeline course, saying, As an Air Force rescue man, you are a search and rescue recovery specialist. You're one of 300 guys in the world that can do that job. The training is extensive. It requires attention to detail, integrity, courage, candor. Stationed in Keflavik, Iceland, as a member of Rescue Squadron 56th, Willis received a Sikorsky Award for his work in rescue. The following year, Willis was stationed at Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico as a Qualified Weapons Instructor QWI, a position that recognized his expertise in warfare. Despite his many career achievements, Will says friendships are the most valuable thing he obtained. There's a brotherhood or a sense of family within that. I appreciate that about the Army and the Air Force. The actual expertise of jumping out of planes and all that is great while it happened. But what carries us into the future are the relationships we build while we are engaged in those activities. The most memorable things is the people I meet and became friends with. Willis was in the U.S. Air Force until August 2007, when he joined Rescue Squadron 308 to perform reserve duties for a year, officially retiring in 2008. After that, he became an independent consultant on emergency trauma care for troops. He actually changed his career focus completely, and Will Willis's first appearance as an actor was in the 2006 movie Beerfest as a British team member, followed by another small role as Angie's husband in the crime movie In the Valley of Allah in 2007, starring Tommy Lee Jones and Charlize Theron. His first roles were uncredited, but then Will Willis was cast in his first lead role in 2009, when he appeared as Whiskey Whiskey in Military Channel's TV series, Special Ops Mission, which showcased weapons experts finding their way through a variety of objectives. In 2011, Will appeared in the movie short written by him, Waste of Time, followed by his character Willis in the short, Sovereign, of 2015. Will Willis was an expert in the TV documentary series of 2005, Rescue Warriors, in the episode Maroon Beret. In 2011, he joined Triggers, Weapons That Changed the World, as its host and weapons expert. This show showcased Willis accompanied by other experts as they value weapons and their historical significance. We'll cover everything from pistols to battle rifles, to assault weapons, to shoulder-fired rocket systems, to artillery pieces. It's a really exciting series and it was a lot of fun to shoot, he said. Presented as a documentary, Dramatic representations of weaponry and military missions are often shown in each episode. We do a lot of ballistics testing and testing of the weapon systems, either against themselves or against one another. 
Willis has clarified questions regarding the source of arms shown in the series. The weapons are predominantly from private collections. Our armorer, Mike Tristano, has quite an extensive personal collection of weapons, which he allows us to use for this series, which is great. Will Willis is also History Channel's Forged in Fire host. In this show, premiered in June 2015, bladesmiths compete to win $10,000 through forging blades. The show has now been on air for seven seasons, and in a 2016 interview with Inverse, Willis talked about the importance of the show and his job in it. I have three judges that are all experts with the things we deal with. My experience is in the intent and purpose of weapons as part of my military training and background. As far as the show goes, it's rewarding to me to bring to light the things that people don't know about certain aspects of the world around them. Although the show only has entertainment purposes, some aficionados have tried to imitate what is seen in the show at home with tragic results. In 2017, a New Yorker fan of the show tried using a barrel to forge a blade. However, his actions occasioned a fire that got out of control and burned down three buildings. The man named John Gomes had to pay a fine of $600,000 and was sentenced to a year in jail. Despite being a show in which the creation of arms is essential, Forged in Fire has received positive critiques and was described by Christy Puchko of Pajba.com as a powerful example of non-toxic masculinity. Perhaps surprisingly, Will Willis is a Bachelor of Fine Arts in screenwriting, graduating from the New York Film Academy, which has helped him pursue his career in TV. In his private life, Willis is married to visual artist and illustrator Crystal Amina. It's unknown when the pair met, but they became engaged in 2017 when Willis proposed to Crystal with a diamond ring on Valentine's Day, finally tying the knot on the 8th of October that year. In March 2020, the couple welcomed their first child together, a boy named Flash Orion Willis. However, the young Flash is not Will's first children, as he's the father of two teen boys named Caleb and Jacob from a previous marriage. Information about their mother isn't disclosed though, resulting from his long military career, along with his earnings for his TV appearances, Will Willis has an estimated net worth of over $500,000 as of mid-2020. Will Willis is a man of white ethnicity with brown eyes and brown hair. His stature is 5 foot 11 inches or 1.8 meters, and although his weight is unknown, he has a strong build. Some other facts about Willis include his 2011 interview in Last Call with Carson Daly. Also, Special Ops Mission actually received negative criticism for its use of CGI, computer-generated imagery. Will Willis is only credited for Forged in Fire's first two seasons in IMDb, Internet Movie Database. However, this is an error as Will has remained as the show's host for all of its seven seasons. Willis was called Pimple Puss by his Army's team leader. He owns a Chevy Nova 383, though the car was in a pitiable condition until it was restored by Willis. Will has good memories of bladesmith participants in Forged in Fire, saying, Every single bladesmith that comes on that show is a character of himself. There are so many intelligent, wonderful guys with different backgrounds. But when you listen to their stories about how they gravitated to their craft, it isn't that much different than anybody else. There's a spark that ignites an interest, and in that interest, turns into a hobby, and that hobby becomes a profession. A lot of people can relate to that. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.